you're going you're to take 15 million Americans' genetic information and you're going to sell it to somebody. And your message to us is today, trust us, it'll be fine. What if the most personal thing you owned, your DNA, was sold to the highest bidder? This is what happened to 15 million Americans and here's why it could happen to you as well. It all started with 23andMe, the home DNA kit everyone trusted to reveal ancestry health risks, even family connections. But when the company filed for bankruptcy, they didn't just shut their doors, they put their crown jewel up for sale, a database of 15 million DNA profiles. How could they do this? While they can't directly sell your data, but there is a loophole where the data can be transferred in case of change of ownership. In Congress, well... I mean, I've got your privacy statement right here. It says that without their consent, you can't share their information. You're about to sell it. Senator, that consent is, you know, essentially for, you know... Not real. Not for research purposes, and we are not selling it for research purposes. So 23andMe's entire model was built on licensing access to your DNA for research, striking multi-million dollar deals with pharma giants. In 2023, there was a data breach where hackers exposed millions of accounts specifically targeting Jewish and Chinese customers. The lesson is chilling. If your DNA is out there, you can't take it back. But you're not completely powerless. If you've given your consent to such services, you can log into the website and revoke your consent and request your data be deleted. Follow Newspresso to always stay updated.